Hello my friends and welcome back once again to Distant Worlds. We are playing in a tiny galaxy and we are the Tiny Teakins. Yep, this is it. This is all we get. So, uh, let's have a look and see what's going on. Before I started up, I came in and renamed a few things. We start with our characters. Uh, I'm going to leave Montezuma our leader as is. Um, I get the feeling he's going to be replaced soon enough, so I'm not going to worry about that. We'll just go with that for the moment. And I have given Bob Starr the job of Colony Governor. Uh, was he Colony Governor in the other one? Or I think he became our leader. He took over, I believe. I think it was uh, Roger Bacon was our Colony Governor, our homeworld in the uh, Bacon series. Uh, we also have an intelligence agent named Vicious202. Unfortunately, um, you got some bad counterintelligence on you, but... Uh, uh, we'll see how long you last. Uh, if you get killed off right away, we'll get you renamed to something else. So we'll uh, work it that way. And we have a scientist named J.R. Todd, who is demoralizing. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> so basically, he's going to eat away at uh, skills of other characters at the same location. So as long as we don't keep any other scientists with him, we should be okay. He's also our ultra genius. So he gives our research output of our empire by 20%. So, kind of a double-edged sword here, but we'll uh, deal with that, no worries. And also renamed our construction ship, so we now have the construction ship Mighty Pirates, the construction ship Sedeberg, and we also have the construction ship Hesero. We have one exploration ship, and it is the EX Raven's Path. Uh, I was going to rename a couple other things, but unfortunately I'm almost out of names already, so... Uh, I'm, I'm collecting names from the comments left on this series, so if you want to see your name in the game, then just leave a comment. Uh, let me know how badly I'm doing, whatever, doesn't matter. All right, so uh, I was going to rename our energy research station and our spaceport, but I think I'm going to leave them as is. It messes me up too much uh, if they're named something else, and I'm not sure what, uh, what I'm looking at. So I'm going to leave those as I am going to leave the design names. I'm just going to go with my standard ones. I'm not going to give that, I'm not going to rename these to... Uh, viewer names by any means it's just too hard to keep track of anyways i did that between episodes and figured i wouldn't uh, waste too much time uh talking about it which i've already done <laughs> uh this uh exploration ship does need to be upgraded so i'm just going to hit that right now and i am going to start my stopwatch before i forget all right Okay, so we are uh, just kind of sitting in here right now. We just kind of broke out of pre-warp, so uh, we're going to have to get out and get some exploration done. And speaking of exploration, I am going to order a couple more. Oh, let's maybe see what our money's at right now first. Okay, so we got twelve grand in the bank. Uh, I'm going to order up a couple more uh, exploration ships. I think maybe three ought to be enough. I got one more ready, which we're at retrofitting. So I'm going to just build two more. I don't think we need a huge amount of these. Uh, we'll get out and about in our immediate area with these anyways. Maybe once we uh, upgrade a bit, we'll maybe build a couple more. I'm not sure. I'll turn them into spy vessels once we get long-range uh, scanners anyways. So we'll get those done. And I might as well rename those. Well, we're on the subject are renaming stuff. So this is going to be the EX, uh, the EX what? Uh, Christopher Richmond. Christopher, if I can spell it right. Eh, I think that's pretty wrong. <laughs> oh man, I should have did this off camera as well. Okay, Christopher Richmond. All right, so that's the EX Christopher Richmond. And the other one will be, you know, just let me hit that button properly. The EX, um, Craig H. Um, actually, I think we, yeah, I think I'll give you a different role once it comes up. But uh, let's go with the, the um, M Penny. There we go. There, the Explorer M Penny. Okay, so there's our explorers ready to go, and they are automated still. So maybe we'll come in and take that automation off because we'll want to actually do that manually. All right, so uh, what are you doing out here? I think they're chasing pirates. I'm just going to bring them back towards homeworld here. And let's have a look at our uh, research for just a second. Now, we're still working on that, and we have to get uh, our research leveled out soon. As soon as we get enhanced construction with bigger ships, I'm going to level that out. Uh, we're still working on entertainment systems. Uh, 
Yeah, this stuff's going pretty slow, unfortunately, but I do need to get to bigger ships as soon as possible. So we're going to keep going with that. All right, um, and I think we got a couple of these construction ships ready to go. You need to be retrofitted, so we'll hit that order. Uh, you are retrofitted. You just need something to do. And you need to retrofit as well, but you're building that gas mining station down here. So we're going to let you finish that first. All right. Um, and a couple things that were pointed out. And uh, I noticed this in editing and I thought, gee, I wonder how long it's going to be before somebody points this out. And it wasn't long at all. If we come into our protector design, um, I probably should have changed this before I ordered those new ones. I ended up putting, oh, not protector, surveyor. I ended up putting a cargo bay on here. And I noticed that in editing and I thought to myself, oh, I wonder how long it'll be before somebody points that out. And I think it was within half an hour post of uh, going public with the episode, somebody pointed that out. So maybe I'll just, uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, well, once we get to bigger ship size, I'll bring everybody in for retrofit. We'll get rid of them at that point, I think. All right. Um, what else do we need to do here? Uh, we, we have to look at these pirates. We're paying way too much in pirates. Um, these are the guys who have that big capital ship that's been hanging around that uh, has been scaring off the other pirates. I kind of like to keep this agreement and maybe get rid of the other ones. Unfortunately... The other ones are actually pretty good. Uh, well, these guys have a bit of an issue with us, but these guys don't really like us very much. So I get the feeling this agreement's going to just keep coming and going, coming and going. Uh, it'd be nice if I could get them sort of in my back pocket with that nice big ship to help us, but uh, we'll see how that works out. And there's something else I wanted to do before we really got going here. Was it on? Yeah, I think I just wanted to grab a couple more troops. We are being invaded at the moment. So I think I'm just going to put a couple more troops on the ground. Just to help us protect against that. Uh, I don't think we have too much to worry about in that regard. But uh, we'll get that done. And the pirates are fighting amongst themselves out here. So that's fine by me. Oh, what's going on here? We're going to scare away their construction ship, I guess. And we should get you put to work doing something. It'd be nice if that would disappear. I could get that mine uh, built there. So we got a mine over here. we got a mine coming in here. What else is in this system that we can grab? There's not a huge amount of stuff in here. Uh, let's just go to our expansion planner for a minute. And we'll come down, have a look. Yeah, not much in here at all. Uh, we could probably use that helium. Yeah, we better grab that helium. How much is it? 16%. Ooh, that is horrible. I don't mind taking a low percentage, but that's like uh, even too much for my tastes. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see what's on the asteroids. Not much either. Oh, wow. Really got... Uh... Yeah, we really got a bad system to start in. But anyways, at least we're out of it. And we can go elsewhere and uh, figure some stuff out. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to get you doing something. Yeah, there's not really much else to do. So I guess I'll just bring you back towards Homeworld. Yeah, three construction ships. Not much to do. Oh, something went boom. Was that their construction ship? I missed it. And we fended off that raid on Montica Prime. I could just willy-nilly bring one of those construction ships out to do a bit of exploration. And our agent, Vicious202, has evaded detection after successfully stealing research on shipboarding. Ooh, ooh, please, please, please tell me we got all that. Oh, only half. Okay, we'll have to go again. And you were stealing that off of who? The Sinister Authority. Okay, Vicious, let's try you out again. Sinister Authority, Research, and we will steal shipboarding. I definitely want shipboarding for sure. 50-50 chance. 
Off you go, vicious. Um, how far off are we on getting one of these retrofitted or built? Three unbuilt. Okay, so we're gonna have uh, there, there, are right there. So we got some uh, exploration ships. So you're still retrofitting. So let's get you to come out and explore that system. And we'll get you to come out and explore. Wow, and almost very close to us. So we'll get you to explore that system. And we'll wait for that last one to get finished. And how's Homeworld looking? 3 billion plus 9%. I'm going to have to start taxing soon here. We need to get some ships built so I can get rid of these pirate agreements. But exploration is kind of the thing at the moment. It'd be nice if there's some fuel here and we could use that as a fuel point to explore the rest of these. Chances are there's empires like right, right next to us. One of my test games, I ended up with another empire in my home system. That was like instant war. Okay, so you're upgraded, you're upgraded, and you are not upgraded, but you're building that gas station. Okay, that's fine. Uh, one other thing I need to do is uh, our mining stations. I should maybe get some shields on those designs. That actually probably isn't a bad idea to do right now. We'll get those retrofitted. Uh, yeah, I haven't done that yet, so nothing to auto. So we'll just manually upgrade to a Mark II. We'll sort by category and by name. And let's throw, say, 600 shields on it. This will get us some money, too, if we retro... Well, it won't be much, but... And we do have energy collectors. I should use. I should have put those on my private uh, sector designs when I when I did all the freighters and that. And I didn't think of it. I'm not used to having this tech this early in the game. That's why I keep missing it. So we'll do that. Um, don't know whether I'm going to arm them yet. I guess I might as well. Let's see. 15. We got 27. I might have to put another reactor on these. And I'm hoping we have enough uh, resources to get through this. Uh, seeking missiles, let's see, 10 firepower, Ugh. that's pretty horrible. But we'll pro throw a couple long-range guns on it as well. Maybe a couple pulse blasters, so there we go. 33 firepower, at least it's not uh, completely defenseless. And I wouldn't mind some anti-boarding, I wish I had boarding right now. But we'll use half modules instead. I'd like to bring this up to about 300 if I can. Yeah, 312 will work. Uh, we'll need another energy collector to cover that, though. And one more life support. Okay, so uh, hopefully that'll hold off any raids. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. So it's kind of a toss-up. Just depends on how many the uh, how many boarding uh, modules the pirates have on their ships that sort of come in. So we'll upgrade this one as well. And we'll go with 600 shields again. And we went with three seekers, two pulse, and two rail guns. And one more reactor. And one more, or at least one. Actually, we must well throw the hab modules on first and make sure we're going to be okay. 312. And one more energy collector. Two more, actually. And a life support. All right, so there's a bit of an upgrade to our mining stations. Might as well do that before we build too many more. We don't have many anyways, so I might as well come in here and retrofit them from here. Yeah, we got two. <laughs> Big deal. This one's still being built too. All right, might as well retrofit it. And we'll wait till the other one's done before we do that. All right, so there we go. We got shields on our uh, spaceport and the uh, our main research station in the last episode. Yeah, 
and you are all retrofitted as well. Um, wow. Can't get far without having to turn around, eh? <laughs> I don't think I can reach any of these without running out of fuel. Well, we'll try this one. We might have to redesign those as soon as we get larger ships. Please tell me that's not a dud system. One planet. One effing planet. Thanks. And it's a volcanic, so hopefully there's something good there. I need a nice packed system full of resources. Okay, all our uh, construction ships are probably idle at the moment. Yep. All right, did you figure out what that was? Yeah, there's something we can mine. Grab one of those, build a mine on it. If we don't, somebody else will. Where are you going? Is there an asteroid out here? Oh yeah, there's a couple asteroids out here. We'll check those out, I guess. And our governor, Bob Starr, is what? Uh, has increased the population growth skill. Excellent. Population growth is now plus 13. Colony income, 52%. Wow. Free trader, good administrator. Plus, plus, plus. That's what I like to see. You rock. All right. Um, going to be a minute before we get in there. Guess we can speed things up a little bit. Um, I wonder if I should build a few more protectors. I might just break these apart. This one fleet. And we'll just let them do what they do. And I might disassemble these two ships here. Just to get a bit of a protect bonus. Um, so no fleet. So And we'll automate those. And I uh, usually wait a bit just so we can get better tech, but generally I never get what I want anyway, so. But they're kind of protecting our homeworld a bit. 18 firepower? Uh, very little bit. Uh, what's that? That's that destroyer 90. That's a bit better. Might keep them around for just a bit longer. Okay, and there go the uh, protectors. Let's build a few more of those just to have a couple. I should have went in here actually. And we will build. Uh, how many is waiting? Two waiting. So let's just build three more. It's probably all I can afford anyway. Just to get a few out there. And, okay, our protection agreement has been cancelled. Red Claw. Uh, that's the guys with the big ship. Yeah, I kind of figured this was going to start happening. Um, that means they're probably going to come at us here somewhat soonish. And there they are, probably. Yep. And I just took all my ex uh, protectors away. Hmm. Are they going to come back? Looks like it. Looks like they're hitting the spaceport at all. Or the research station. Nice. Ha. Take that. Ah, boom. Any damage? Took no damage. Wow, nice. Glad I didn't get rid of them. Yeah, you guys just sit there for now. 
You can't do much else. They don't have any warp drives, but they can at least sit around Homeworld and protect that a bit. As we see, that worked out pretty good. Okay, a couple more protectors off the lines, and we're running out of money again. Yeah, we're just pretty much right out of money, so we'll have to do something with taxes. Oh, another pirate! Excellent! That's exactly what I wanted to see. Can you smell the sarcasm? Alright, um, now they're in here, I think. Yep, so they know where that mine is now. And speaking of mines, let's go upgrade our gas mining station. And I can't afford it. Okay, we got to get some toxin done then. Unfortunately, and this will come just as I need to pay a pirate. Um, let's see, 37, so let's try 40, I guess, for now. Minus 3, drop it down a little bit. And plus 1, okay, so make some money in a hurry. And they're back. Let's see how, oh, they're coming in with like half shields and everything, that's perfect, thanks. try how many other ships are we taking out uh, it was red claw 27 eh. how much serves our pirate now pirate protection is now 8k and we can now let's we'll come over here and do it upgrade that station I have some shields and our uh, and weaponry on it and is that uh, construction ship finished? It is. So I'll just bring you back over to Homeworld. And how is our exploration doing? You are probably finished. Yep. Hmm, it's going to get tricky. So I'm going to send you back for fuel. And then we'll go this way with him, I guess. And what's in this one? Seven planets, four moons. Excellent. So that's what I need in our area. Hopefully there's some good stuff in here. But Danthifer. So we'll come back and have a look at that in a bit. Um, actually, no, we won't. We'll get something going in here right away. Uh, where is the Danthifer? Right here. Okay, let's get that. If we find it, we better mine it right away. Pirates offer in prior contact. I don't think we're going to bother with that too much. And what are you following? Oh, keep up the target. It's gone. Yeah, they're trying to attack something. So you guys, uh, I don't know. Go refuel. They don't have to re-automate all those, I guess. And Montica Prime is under attack again. Ooh, they're bringing more. Sh they're bringing bigger ships now. Thirty-six firepower, two hundred shields, and the shields are fully charged. Uh, I think it's time to maybe get some weaponry on our uh, spaceport. I think it's high time we did that. Okay, so we'll auto. Nothing to auto. Manual. So it's still going to be a Mark II. Revision A. So the Revision A will put some weaponry on this. Don't have much to work with though. I generally don't like to load this particular design up with weapons. So I wonder if I shouldn't. Just go to a medium spaceport at this point. I think that's probably a good idea. So maybe I'll just pull these missiles off for now. Okay, we got an energy collector and we'll just uh, leave it at that. But what I'll do is I will copy as new. 
and we'll change that to a medium. Oops, no, a medium. We'll change that to all weapons. That's all fine. Uh, we'll change the graphic to that, I guess. And we'll call this a regional port. And that will be a Mark II, I guess. All right, so we got that. Uh, we'll put the weaponry back on. We'll do like 10. And I got to keep this sort of within six grand too. If I want to build it right away. Of course, we're taxing right now, so we'll get some money back somewhat soonish. So I'll put a handful of pulse blasters as well. Maybe one or two rail guns. Just that. Add a little extra punch. So firepower is not going to be great at the moment. But one thing I do want is some more construction yards. Bring that up to six. And we'll bring the docking bays. Yeah, 21 sounds good. So we got 21 docking bays, six yards. So we'll be able to build more ships here. Uh, we got to put more reactors on, no doubt. That kind of just covers it. Uh, Habin life. Maybe some more shielding as well. Go to 2,500 on the shielding. I'd worry about boarding, but from my experience, they've never boarded a space station. They always go for the planet. So getting anti-boarding on these, uh, I, I would like eventually to get some uh, salt pods on here, but for now, we're just going to not worry about it. And what are we at? 150, 140, that should cover all our energy usage. So 140 and 7.5 is less than 150, so we're good there. We do need another energy collector, though. All right, we'll call it at that. So we have a regional port. So let's get that going right now. Hopefully I left enough money here. Retrofit to a regional port. There we go. And that's going to be a minute. So it's not going to help us out of this particular situation. Oh my God. Uh, I guess we're paying them again, eh? Uh, hmm. And there's our new leader. I told you what happened soon. Um, a leader Montezuma has been replaced in an Empire Wild election. Zugokal, who will be renamed shortly here, is the new leader. Fresh, uh, fresh uh, leadership has sent a wave of enthusiasm through our empire. So it's not going to hurt us too much to change leaders. Um, uh, wish my taxes were zero right now. I'm going to have to pay a fortune for this... Uh, Protection agreement. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Stop, stop, stop. Ah. Erg. Wish those taxes to drop a little quicker. I think it's you guys. I better double check on that. Yep. Oh, you just had to do this, didn't you? 1,200 Oh. Well, we got to pay it right now because we got nothing here. You, go repair. Ugh. That just killed our money. Absolutely killed our money. Uh, where were we at? 37. They're raiding us like no tomorrow. I'm glad to put those extra troops down. We're barely going to hold this off. Okay, and I forget what our tax rates were, 37 or something, I think. We do have a fresh wave of enthusiasm right now, too, so we should be able to tax a little heavier. Quite a bit heavier. I need big money. I need it now. Let's see if we get a new leader replaced. Okay, speaking of leader, let's have a look. Uh, a bit of red, uh, colony happiness minus two, but it's a scalable trait, so that'll be a bit, um, that'll come along eventually. Um, some bonuses to ship speed, construction speed, population growth, colony income, 
Counterintelligence, excellent. Where's my list of names here? Okay, you need to be, you need to be. You are going to be Chris Lighthawk. All right, our new leader, Chris Lighthawk. Welcome to office. So we'll get that repair and then I guess maybe we'll try to... Oh, and they're back with their big ship. I want this ship. I either want it dead or I want it in our arsenal. One of the two. Man, that pirate agreement's bugging me. All our, all our escorts chasing one ship around. It's always fun. All right, so we got a bit of money. What else do we have up here? That we can maybe dig out. Okay, we're getting that. Have we learned anything else about this place? Probably not. Well, I'm going to hope that one of these three is fuel. So what I'm going to do is grab a construction ship, the Mighty Pirates. And I am going to just get you to build a gas mining station there. And hopefully there's fuel there. If not, I'll redirect them to one of these two. We might even have that explored by the time he gets up there. Okay, our medium spaceport is done. So we got a little bit of protection at Homeworld now. Man, they're a good one to have in our pocket, but it's costing us a fortune. All right, so how's our exploration doing here? Uh, you're back here. You're all fueled up. Um, okay, you go explore that one. And what is in here? We have another... Oh, it's a pirate. I thought we had another empire, but just pirates. Eight planets, six moons. Oh, is that a station or it's just a mining station? It's not a spaceport. Wow, I kind of want that too. I want it all. And they raided our colony. They looted 50 hydrogen, a bunch of Keslon, other resources. Doesn't look like they took money at all. Or did they? Trillion down? Ugh. Taking all our luxuries and everything. Yeah, it doesn't look like they took any money. Just stuff. Wow, 4,100 silicon, you thieving bastards. All right, well, that's a good place to end an episode, I guess. <laughs> Got totally ripped off. Uh, how did our uh, ground forces... I lost... Oh, lost some troops out of that. Build a couple more quickly. Good thing I built a couple more. We uh, might have been in trouble there. Well, I guess they just would have raided it anyway. So, and Vicious Two Hundred Two has evaded or has been detected after uh, stealing shipboarding. Oh, oh, please tell me we got all that now. We do. Excellent. We can get some uh, borders happening next uh, episode, and we can uh, get some boarding pods and some other stuff as well. Very good. Other than we're paying way too much in pirate protection right now. So I got to get some money ahead and try. What? Why is my money so bad at 45%? Am I missing something here? I guess it's just the unhappiness. Man, that really hurt. We are terrified by recent pirate raids against our colony minus 10. And they're not liking the high taxes either. That's probably not a good thing. I need to drop this. Uh, I'm going to drop down to say 15 or something like that. 
Oh, maybe we'll go up to 20. Yeah, I don't want this place rebelling on me. Okay, there we go. We'll leave it at that for now. This is getting tricky. I, I, I can't even get past the pirates, never mind the uh, <laughs> other empires. Yeah, that raid should not have happened. That really hurt. And it's really killing our cash flow, too. That pirate protection. I might have to do something extreme here in a minute. But anyways, we'll call this episode to a close, and we'll uh, try and figure that out next time. Thanks for watching.